Hello, beloveds. So I'm going to share with you guys five distinct sounds that we will hear sometime in the future. Now, these sounds will be completely new to the human experience. And so I won't attempt to describe them because that would be impossible. Since nothing that humans have experienced so far comes anywhere close to any of them. Now, obviously, these five won't be the only new sounds that we will hear. But they are just five that I personally have heard for myself. And I'm now giving you all an account or a kind of heads up in preparation for them. For trust me, beloveds, each and every single one of them will be very awesome, and not to mention humbling. So now, the first one that I'm going to mention out of the five is the sound of a lightning anomaly that I saw on the moon. In the future, Yah is going to show a lot of signs of the end in the heavens, and one of those signs, as He has shown it to me, is going to be on the moon. Now, I'm going to share more details about this specific experience in my Dream of the Two Moons video that I will soon upload here. But in that experience, I saw that something had smashed into our moon from behind, and it caused our moon to crack. Our moon started displaying this lightning, this very huge, very thick lightning display all over the moon. But this lightning was so big that you could see it all the way from Earth. But not only that, you could also hear the sound that he was making. And I'm telling you the truth, I've never heard anything that comes anywhere even close or even similar to the sound that I was hearing in that experience. This sound will be completely new to the human experience. And it was so loud that you could hear it all the way here on Earth. And it was constant. And it also sounded very dreadful. It's a sound that will drive fear in the hearts of people. And like I said, what was causing this sound was some kind of lightning anomaly that was being displayed all across the cracked surface of the moon. So now, hopefully that I told you guys about it beforehand, you won't be too fearful whenever this thing transpires sometime in the future. Now for number two, another sound that is coming that I believe also will be completely new to the human experience is a meteor strike. Now, the Lord had first given me a flash vision where I had first heard the sound, but I wasn't aware of what had caused it. He first gave it to me in an experience, a very short flash vision where I heard it, and it was so loud and sounded like nothing that I've ever experienced before, it literally shook me out of my deep sleep. I literally jumped up out of bed and went to open my windows because I thought it was real. I'm talking about something that I experienced in a vision. It was so real that I, I jumped up out of bed and went immediately to look through my windows to see what had crashed on the earth. That's how real the experience was. I actually thought that it had actually occurred. I jumped up out of my deep sleep, went and opened my windows in a panic to see where it had landed. But it, it was actually a vision, but it was so real. And so not long after I had received that vision, the Lord gave me another vision where He had shown me what had caused that sound. And actually, it was a piece of the moon that had struck the earth. The Lord showed me that not long after the moon was struck from behind, not long after that, there's going to be a worldwide meteor shower. And I literally saw a piece of the moon, a huge chunk of the moon, blasting through the skies and heading towards a town that I grew up in with a great deal of smoke trailing behind it, and it impacted my town and completely obliterated the entire town. Now, the sound that it made was indescribable. I mean, you can hardly even compare it to a nuclear explosion, because it was significantly greater and far more powerful than that of a nuclear explosion. In that vision, I remember that when it struck the earth, the dense and hard earth began to crease in ripples, that is, the shock wave that was in the ground began to crease in ripples and heading outwards. And each crease that the ground made gave off a tremendous sound like the clap of thunder. Just imagine that for a second, if you will, beloveds. The ground began to ripple, and each ripple that it made outwards sounded like a ginormous thunderclap. But not only that, the dirt that was deep beneath the ground of where I live came shooting up for thousands of feet up in the air. And I was in very close proximity to this when it occurred. So I got to hear the sounds very clearly. And I'm telling you, it was very awesome. And you know, perhaps I'll speak about this particular experience more on another video. So now, for number three on this list, I've already spoken about this in my video series about the outpouring of the River of Life. But this sound is what I call the cosmic tsunami roar. And what will cause it is actually a coronal mass ejection. One that would be significantly bigger than anyone that has ever hit the Earth. Now, this will occur as a direct manifestation of the outpouring of the river of life, the outpouring of Yah's spirit. And this is powerful. 
This is power on a scale that humans have yet to experience. And so the sound of this power heading towards the earth will cause all peoples and everything on the earth to literally tremble for the greatness of this sound. For I promise you this, you've never heard anything like this. This will be completely new to you. So be prepared and know that it is coming. Now for number four on this list, which is my favorite, this is literally the voice of God, the voice of Yah himself. And I've already made a video on my channel about this experience, but this experience was so awesome that I'm going to have to make another video to try to explain and to speak about what I heard and what's going to happen in the future when this awesome prophecy is fulfilled. Now, what will cause this sound is Yah himself. Yah is going to speak and his voice is a thunder. He's going to use the thunder as his voice and he's going to speak audibly, causing everyone on earth to hear him. Now, perhaps not everyone will be able to understand the words that he will be speaking. Perhaps some people will only hear the thunder, but for those who has his spirit, his people, those that love him and know him, they'll be able to understand clearly what he's saying in whatever language that they speak. Now, beloveds, it is very important that I tell you that this won't be an ordinary thunder. No, most definitely not. I tell you, I've lived in the lightning capital of the world for quite a while, that's in Florida, and I've heard my share of loud thunders. And as a matter of fact, that's exactly where I was when I had received this experience. I was there in Margate, Florida, when Yah had given me this experience. He had caused me to hear him speaking. And this experience was a number four on my dream realness chart, because it actually eclipsed reality. I heard him speaking in the experience, and while I was awake, while he was speaking, he was speaking to me in the vision experience, and then I woke up, literally, and got up halfway up out of my bed, and he was still speaking to me. So his voice came out of the vision experience, out of the dream state, and came into reality. Because I could hear his voice audibly once I was awake. And that is incredible. That is nothing short of just total awesomeness, and completely blew my mind at the time. And so, beloved, let me tell you, the loudest thunder that you've ever heard in your lives, that was only a whisper, almost next to silence in comparison to what I heard and what is coming. Beloveds, this voice, the voice of God, Yah, that I heard, it was so loud that it caused the mountains to crumble. Even as it is written, the voice of the Lord is majestic. The voice of the Lord breaks in pieces the cedars of Lebanon. Just imagine a voice, a frequency that has that power to disintegrate those huge cedar trees and cause mountains to crumble. But like I said, beloveds, I'm going to make a video that will speak exclusively on this experience because trust me there aren't any words there are no words to represent or ain't not even anything in the human experience to compare the power and the sound of this voice there's no way this sound is definitely in a league of its own and it's going to be completely new to the human experience meaning human beings have never heard anything so far that can be compared to this sound so watch over there in israel watch when the nations begins to gather around israel to invade it because that right there is a key sign as to when this prophecy is about to be fulfilled and when we will all hear this sound, the voice of Yahuwah. Now for number five on this list, this is the last one and the greatest and most powerful one that I've ever experienced. This sound is the sound of the cataclysmic explosion. Now so what will cause this sound? It can be one of several things. Now judging by the power of it, I believe that it will be caused by the collision of two stars because I've once seen in a vision these two stars dancing around each other until they finally collided. I saw that in a flash vision, and that's all that I saw, and I didn't know what to make of it. But perhaps if I put them together here, maybe that's what will cause the cataclysmic explosion that I heard. But also, the Lord had revealed to me that when Planet X is passing through our solar system, which it is right now, at some point it's going to pass too close to our sun, and one or more of its several moons that it has orbiting its planet is actually going to collide in our sun. And perhaps that's what many have seen in visions and prophecies that will occur as well. And what will cause this cataclysmic explosion that myself and many others have heard in the heavens. Now, this sound is most definitely not comparable to anything. This sound will be so powerful that you will feel it in your chest. It will cause all life throughout the entire solar system to stop. It doesn't matter what people are doing or creatures. It will cause them to be instantaneously incapacitated, meaning you'll be frozen even by the sheer power that is released from the sound, it will cause us all to stop. 
And so, beloveds, do not be hopeless whenever you see that the majority of the world has fallen asleep, with most of them appearing almost already dead. No, beloveds, all hope is most definitely not lost, because I'm telling you the truth. Yah has the power to wake them up. And this sound, whenever it goes off, I'm telling you the truth, it will shake even the most holy among us. And even those of us who are already awake will be shaken a little. So can you imagine for those who are asleep? I'm telling you the truth. This sound will get everyone's attention. And so Yah has his ways. And he's more than capable. So, beloveds, know that these new sounds, these astronomical, these big sounds are coming. And we should prepare our hearts and souls for their manifestation. Because they are surely coming. Now, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. The Lord King, bless and keep you all. Love from your brother in Christ.